Hello, Overray Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy Overray Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day on this beautiful Saturday. Like it is so um, clear out there that I'm just thinking, girl, if I was at Miami right now, I will be in South Beach drinking a huge R Margar a huge ass margarita with two beers, you know, and just having fun. Maybe with my girls of the Real Housewives of Miami, right? And talking about them, well, yep, it is time to talk some tea about the Real Housewives of Miami because Miss Adriana Demora is just coming in hot talking about all kind of things that we definitely, definitely need to talk about it. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell. If you want to support my channel, now you can do it through the thank bottom right here or you can check my merch, the link is on the description below and let's talk about this oh mess not today fake not today neck not today ankles we don't have it questions where's my cocktail where that's my attack all right you ruined okay. you ruined okay. okay. you did okay. what the f is this the lie there you the go lies. This is Shut you are the biggest bully in hollywood and everyone knows it before we start it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the people of liquid iv liquid iv it's all about hydration so if you are into working out walking running jogging hiking whatever you are doing that you are losing water and electrolytes this is for you liquid iv will hydrate you twice as fast as water super convenient little packs that you can take anywhere they have all these amazing flavors green apple wild berry lemon lime uh, the list goes on and on and on so if you want to get your liquid iv make sure to go to the link on the description of this video and use my discount code shademan empire and you will get 20 percent off plus free shipping so what are you waiting for go and get your liquid iv right now and, and it is time to talk about the real housewife of miami where is the flavor where is everything girl I am so dying to be in Miami, just party. I just wanna go there and party. Because the last time that I went to Miami, girl, I was in a hotel the whole day. So anyways, um, Miss Adriana de Mora, I mean, this show, mm, perfection, perfection. You know, like I can, I don't have one bad thing to say about The Real Housewife of Miami. It is so good. All of the girls are so good. They are just bringing that beautiful energy and girl, they just keep giving us more and more and more. So Adriana de Mora is giving us uh, several updates. Okay. So I want to go through everything um, because she wasn't Watch What Happens Live and she spilled a lot of tea. So Adriana de Mora appear on Wednesday night on Watch What Happens Live, where she offered an update on Martina Navratilova's cancer diagnosis. Weeks after Julia Lemigova's wife confirmed she's being diagnosed with stage one throat cancer and early stage breast cancer, the Real Housewife of Miami cast member revealed how she's doing before offering an update on her allegedly married boyfriend who is actually divorced, explaining why she got butt injections after poking fun at Larsa's peeping backside and more. Martina is better. She's hanging in there. Adriana confirmed on the January episode, 25 episode. She actually is here, she is actually here in New York getting her treatment at the best center for cancer. So the breast actually she already removed it and she doesn't need much more. So that's good. One knockdown. She's moving into the throat cancer and I think she's going to be just fine. Oh, I mean, look, I really hope because I don't think is. I mean, I, yeah, Ju, I don't think if Julia could like go through this. So I'm so happy. I'm honestly, let's pray for Martina that she gets really better really soon. As for her status with Terry, Adria, Adriana revealed the guy ran to the hills after all that drama. And she added that she is still waiting for an apology from Alexia, who raised questions about his marital status. She also said she is always dating. 
The line moves, Andy, she proclaimed. When Andy Cohen then brought up her new behind, which is newly enhanced, Adriana explained why she is not hypocritical. Well, I didn't go for the volume. I just went for the perfection. That's the difference. I am Brazilian. I am saying Larsa has a good butt, but my mom has a big butt. My sister has a big butt. I grew up all around big butts. I don't shame big butts, but what I wanted for myself was mine just a little bit more smooth. On a recent episode of The Real House of Miami, Dr. Nicole Martin was seen uninviting Larsa to her and Anthony's engagement party with an actual uninvitation, and while many thought it was petty, Adriana told Andy she did not. Who thought that was petty? Because honestly, I thought that was amazing. I thought that literally put Dr. Nicole Martin right here, okay? That was like housewife history in the making right there. Um, I don't think it was petty at all, no. She clarified, as for Anthony saying Larsa is jealous of anyone who has something going for them because she's nothing without ex-husband Scotty Pippen, last name, Adriana said, he said it, but you know that's his sentiment. And when asked if Anthony has been getting too involved in the latest drama, Adriana said she doesn't think so. I think it's just Nicole gets really affected by the comments and she's the mother of his child and obviously he will defend her. She noted. Honestly, yeah, I don't think I don't see anything wrong in someone defending his wife, you know, especially when the other people is really being an asshole. If you are defending someone that you know is wrong, I have a problem with that, you know. But if you are defending someone against someone that is, you know, doing something wrong, like, yeah, it's 20, a girl. The whole thing like, oh, no, the husband cannot get in the, in the, in the women businesses. Like, bitch, this is not 1950. Like, move on. Like, right now, everyone has an opinion. You don't want to be treated like an asshole? Then do not act like an asshole, okay? Now, like, the other thing, like, Alexia not saying sorry to Adriana, I still found it so disrespectful. Like, you were literally wrong. You were literally wrong. Why is it so hard for her to just come forward and say, Hey man, you know what? I I I I I fuck it up, you know. Maybe at the reunion, but I don't even think so because I don't know if Alexia understand that she did something wrong. And don't get me wrong, I like Alexia. You know, I love Alexia and I like her story and everything. But what she did was wrong. <laughs> Attack this guy with real, with no real proof. It was wrong on camera on national TV. How do you think that he's going to feel? Imagine if someone will do something like that to her. Isn't she going around attacking, you know, her son's girlfriend because of the fake uh, um, domestic violence thing? It's kind of like the same thing. So, like, just say sorry and move on with your life. I don't know. So anyways, that's it. That's what is going on right now in Miami. Let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya.